Welcome everyone to another episode of Reese's Roundup. I am your host, the <laughs> Lightning Kid himself, and today I thought I was gonna see you guys after the Super Bowl, but one of the biggest trades in NBA history just went down. I'm totally kidding, it's not that big of a deal, but I needed to discuss it anyway. Blake Griffin is now on the Detroit Pistons. Good trade for the Clippers or a good trade for the Pistons? Good trade for the Clippers. Here's why. They did not... Okay, the Pistons had to give up an arm and a leg just to get Blake Griffin. Now, Griffin and DeAndre... Uh, what's his name? Andre Drummond. They can do damage, but it'll probably just be the same way as it was when Blake was in L.A. when he had DeAndre Jordan. I mean, DeAndre Jordan's a shot blocker. He can do putback dunks. He can't make free throws. He's basically the same thing as Andre Drummond. So, there's really no difference. But, the Clippers, in return, got Avery Bradley, who is a fantastic defender. And he can shoot a little bit. Um, and they got Tobias Harris, I believe. Who, he's been around a while. And they got a couple of draft picks as well. So... All of that, I mean, they gave the Pistons gave up a great defender in Avery Bradley. I don't know who they're going to have to replace him. I don't know who they... Well, Reggie Jackson's a solid point guard anyway, so they have him. But I don't know. I didn't like, I didn't like who the Pistons had to give up in order to get Blake Griffin, who's just not really that big of a deal. I mean, he's an all-star, but is he really worth all that? I mean, I don't know. I don't think... I don't think he'll help the Pistons in the long run, but I've been hearing rumors about how Doc Rivers is just not, that nobody wants to work with, uh, with Doc, and I can see why, I mean, not, everybody that's played with him has been talking all this trash about him, and saying that he's not the greatest coach, he's, he picks favorites, all this and all that about Rivers, so I can see why people want to be traded, why they don't want to stick around in LA, but Blake, you know, he, he's, He's pretty much the heart, he was the heart and soul of L.A. for the longest time. And just to get rid of him like that, that's that's crazy. That's that's insane that that happened. And when I heard about it, I was like, no, there's no way he got traded. And then I had to, I, I, I read multiple sources saying that he went to the Pistons. Like, wow, that's crazy that Blake went to, the, that, that, that they traded Blake Griffin. But that just shows you that, uh, that these owners don't really care about loyalty in the, um, in the NBA, they'll trade you as, as if they see the opportunity to, and, you know, that's, that's the same thing that happened to Melo, that's what happened to D-Wade, that's, I don't know, that's just how I see it, so, uh, let me know what you guys think, is this a good deal for the Clippers, or is this a good deal for the Pistons, let me, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, I still think the Clippers, uh, got the better end of the deal out of this, just because now they got two great defenders with Patrick Beverly and, uh, Avery Bradley at the wing now, but uh, I don't even think Beverly starts anymore because of uh, because of Austin Rivers. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes out and works out in the long run. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you next time. I'll probably see you Monday after the Super Bowl. I'm out. Peace.